Hello everyone, my name is Roya and today I am coming to you with my May book haul. This does not include the books that I got at Y'all West, but this is just all the rest of the books that I got this month. There are some used books, some new books, and a book that I got for review, and a book that I won in a giveaway. So the book that I won in a giveaway is uh, The Harp of Kings by Juliette Morillier. This, um, is actually one of my most anticipated releases of the latter half of the year. It's probably my most anticipated release of the latter half of the year, so I was so stoked to win it in a giveaway, and as soon as it arrived, I read it. And as this video um, is being filmed, I'm almost finished with it, so you can be sure you'll see it in a wrap-up very soon. The other one in this haul that I've already read is We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Faisal. This, uh, I got I pre-ordered forever ago because it's a Middle Eastern inspired fantasy book and how many of those do we get? The occasional one, but very few. So obviously since this was getting so much hype and I really really wanted to see this book succeed and do really really well because I want more books like this. So I pre-ordered it forever ago and as soon as it arrived I read it and it was awesome and you can uh, check it out what I, what check out my thoughts in my last wrap-up. New book in this haul is Hull Metal Girls by Emily Skrutsky and this is uh, a book that I had my eye on for a long time and just never got around to reading it. I, I've been interested in this book since it came out like last year and I'm really excited to read it and I saw that on Amazon it was only eight bucks so I definitely thought that was a good deal so I snagged it and I'm very excited to read it very soon. The book that I got for review is Some of My Best Friends Are, Are Human by Liz J. Anderson and this is actually by the aunt of uh Kelsey from the Fancy Hat Lady Reads. So I'm very excited to get into this. Next we do have a few used books. So firstly I'm going to talk about Annie on My Mind which I got for only a dollar at the library's little bookstore thing. This is about two ladies falling in love. So the next two books I'm going to talk about were $1.49 at the Humane Society's little thrift store thing. Um, so Sunshine by Robert McKinley. I've been hearing that this is really good. And the other one is Fallen Skies by Philippa Gregory. Philippa Gregory is an author who I grew up reading a lot of books by, especially when I was in high school, um, which is super weird. So she mostly writes adult historical fiction. And this is a book that I think was out of print for a good while. I had been... I had had my eye on this one since high school and I just never got around to reading it because A, it's out of print and B, it's just not one of her more well-known ones. It's not one of the ones set in the Tudor era. It's like, it's set during like World War One or World War Two. I forget which one, but um, yeah, it definitely sounds awesome. The last used book on this list is... Uh, what's called King's Shield by Sherwood Smith. So if you remember, I think last month it was, I hauled um, Inda and what I thought were the second and third book in that series. It turns out it was the second and fourth book and this is the third one. So this was only a dollar at my library's little bookstore thing. Actually, no, it was 50 cents even. This was so the next few books I have here are the last ones in this book haul, and they're from Microcosm, which is a small publishing uh, company that's only Portland-based, and they have a store um, where you can go and get these books. But they had a sale going on for a Keep Your Laws Off My Uterus uh, bundle, so that sounded super interesting to me. So they sold, they have four zines and two books that are all in a, in a pack for 20 bucks. So I thought that seemed really cool. This all seems like stuff I really would want to read, especially in today's political climate and whatnot, and that's why they had this sale. So um, firstly, I have uh, Hot Pants, Do-It-Yourself, Gynecology, and Herbal Remedies, and Alive with Vigor, Surviving Your Adventurous Lifestyle. I think this one is about... I think this one is about different uh, true stories about surviving... Um, uh, different uh, like healthcare problems they had when they were trying to get an abortion or other things like I don't I don't know it sounds really interesting. The zines that I got are Jane documents from Chicago's clandestine abortion service from 1868 to 1973. To choose a woman's guide to reproductive freedom. Wild Seed Feminism a resource book for abortion care. Reclaiming Our Ancient Wisdom, Herbal Abortion Procedure and Practice for Midwives and Herbalists. So all of these sound so interesting. They're just all different things about 
Sorry. Um, I just got off an airplane and my ears are still like all messed up. But anyway, all these books sound really interesting because they're about um, different things having to do with abortion and the history of it and all of that. And so with everything that's going on today, it seems like a really good time to read books like this and get educated on the topic. These are the books that I got in the uh, month of May 2019. If you've read any of these, let me know what your thoughts are and let me know out of the ones I haven't read yet, which one do you think I should read first? And I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye!